access your free language gifts right now before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the Making Plans Conversation Cheat Sheet. With this brand new cheat sheet, you'll be able to make plans in your target language and learn useful phrases like, when are we meeting? Would you like to join? And more. Second, the Talking About Family Writing Workbook. With this printable PDF, you'll learn all the must-know words and phrases for family, and you'll be able to practice writing the phrases out as well. Download it for free right now. Third, can you talk about space in your target language? Learn how to say star, sun, planet, and more with this quick vocab bonus. Fourth, must-know words for energy production. Learn how to say solar power, battery, windmill, and much more with this one-minute vocabulary lesson. Fifth, the 20 phrases for daily routines. If you can't talk about your day yet, this one-minute lesson will get you speaking. You'll learn the must-know phrases, from talking about waking up and brushing your teeth to dinner and going to sleep. Sixth, free language learning audiobooks. Want free access to our huge library of beginner-level audiobooks? Then click the link below. Save the audiobooks to your device and listen and learn. They're yours to keep forever. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, get 35% off premium or premium plus with the power up sale. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. How do you know if your learning resources are effective? Our team of teachers have designed hundreds of lessons to suit your learning level. Click the link in the description to unlock the full lesson, including line-by-line -line audio, key vocabulary, lesson notes, and much more. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue. Next, you'll review the key vocabulary followed by the English translations. And finally, you'll review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. Okay, let's get started with the first dialogue. ある お願いしますね。それから今夜は雪になりますから気をつけてくださいよ。おじいさんはいつつの傘を持って出かけました。家を出て間もなく雪が降ってきました。雪はだんだん激しくなったのでおじいさんはせっせと道を急ぎました。村
後ろ姿が見えましたそして家の前にはお正月用のお餅やごちそうが山のように置いてありました Now you'll hear the key vocabulary followed by the English translation. つもる To pile up. おもち Rice cakes. はげしい Violent, intense. おおみそか New Year's Eve. うしろすがた Retreating figure, appearance from behind. じぞう Stone idol placed near streets to protect travelers. とうとう Finally, at last. せっせと Diligently, assiduously. むかしばなし Legend, folk story. にこにこ Smiling from ear to ear. Finally, you review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. かさじぞうむかしむかしあるところにびんぼうだけどこころやさしいおじいさんとおばあさんがいましたある年の大晦日のことですおじいさんとおばあさんは二人で傘を作りましたそれを町へ持って行って売りお正月のお餅を買うつもりです傘は五つもあるから餅ぐらい買えるだろうお願いしますねそれから今夜は雪になりますから気をつけてくださいよおじいさんは5つの傘を持って出かけました家を出て間もなく雪が降ってきました雪はだんだん激しくなったのでおじいさんはせっせと道を急ぎました村外れまで来るとお地蔵様が6つ並んで立っていますお地蔵様の頭にも肩にも雪が積もっていますこれを見たおじいさんはそのまま通り過ぎることができませんでしたお地蔵様雪が降って寒かろうなせめてこの傘をかぶってくださいおじいさんはお地蔵様に売るつもりの傘をかぶせてやりましたでもお地蔵様は6つなのに傘は5つしかありませんそこでおじいさんは自分の傘を脱いで最後のお地蔵様にかぶせてやりました家へ帰るとおばあさんがびっくりして言いましたまあまあずいぶん早かったですねそれにおじいさんの傘はどうしましたおじいさんはお地蔵様のことを話してやりましたまあまあそれは良いことをしましたねお餅なんてなくてもいいですよおばあさんはニコニコして言いましたその夜夜中だというのに不思議な歌が聞こえてきましたじいさんの家はどこだ傘のお礼を届けに来たぞじいさんの家はどこだ傘のお礼を届けに来たぞ歌声はどんどん近づいてとうとうおじいさんの家の前まで来るとズシーンと何かを置く音がしてそのまま消えてしまいましたおじいさんがそっと戸を開けてみるとおじいさんのあげた傘をかぶったお地蔵様の後ろ姿が見えましたそして家の前にはお正月用のお餅やごちそうが山のように置いてありました This is the end of the lesson In this lesson you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation Don't forget to click the link in the description to unlock the full lesson, including line by line audio, key vocabulary, lesson notes, and much more. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. できる Can. できる Dekiru.
can. 彼は車の運転はできるがあまり上手ではない。He can drive, but not very well. 彼は車の運転はできるがあまり上手ではない。レイ、ゼロ、レイ。レイゼロ零点五度ゼロポイントファイブディグリス零点五度一ワン一一、一、ワン、一度、ワンディグリー、一度、二、一度、一度、二、二、two、二週間、two weeks long、二週間、三、three。三、三、three。今、三時です。It is three o'clock now。今、三時です。四、or 四。Four. She or yom. She or yom. Four. Yomban. Number four. Yomban. Go. Five. 五、五、five。リンゴ五個、five apples。リンゴ五個、六、six、六。六、six、六インチ、six inches、六インチ、七、七、or 七、seven、七、or 七。七 or 七 seven 七時に友達と会います。I'm going to meet my friend at seven 七時に友達と会います。八七八、八、eight。クモは足が八本ある。A spider has eight legs。クモは足が八本ある。
できる。can, lay, zero, 一 one, 二 two, 三 three, しおれよん。four, go, five, しおれなな。seven, はち。How are your Japanese listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. 男の人と女の人が話しています。男の人に起きた出来事ではないものはどれですかあ、田中さん、おかえり。いつ帰ってきたの昨日の夜中だよ。そっか、どうだったタイは。なんかすごく疲れてるみたいだけど、出張大変だったうん、交渉は楽勝だったけど、帰りが最悪。えどういうこと出発時間と到着時間を間違えて飛行機に乗り遅れたよえー、マジうんだけどそれだけならまだマシだったよ実はその後財布も盗まれちゃってその上別のところに入れていたクレジットカードを使おうとしたら有効期限切れで使えなかったんだだから空港で15時間も次の便を待つ羽目になったんだよホテルに泊まれていたらよかったんだけどなそうなんだそれで疲れたってことかそういうこと男の人に起きた出来事ではないものはどれですか男の人と女の人が話しています男の人に起きた出来事ではないものはどれですかあ、田中さん、おかえり。いつ帰ってきたの昨日の夜中だよ。そっか、どうだったタイは。なんかすごく疲れてるみたいだけど、出張大変だったうん、交渉は楽勝だったけど、帰りが最悪。えどういうこと出発時間と到着時間を間違えて飛行機に乗り遅れたよえー、マジうんだけどそれだけならまだマシだったよ実はその後財布も盗まれちゃってその上別のところに入れていたクレジットカードを使おうとしたら有効期限切れで使えなかったんだだから空港で15時間も次の便を待つ羽目になったんだよホテルに泊まれていたらよかったんだけどなそうなんだそれで疲れたってことかそういうこと Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz Let us know if you have any questions See you next time Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly review The monthly show on language learning where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to create long-lasting habits for language learning. Our lives are governed by routines and habits, and a lot of the time we're doing things out of habit without having to think or motivate ourselves. So what if you could do the same for language learning? You can easily slide in, start learning without needing to push yourself. 
If you could, you'd succeed with the language. And that's why today you'll discover, one, how habits work, two, tricks for creating strong habits for language learning, and three, how to create your own habits. How to create long-lasting habits for language learning. Part one, tricks for creating strong habits for language learning. Is language learning a habit for you? If not, then you've probably tried and struggled with creating that habit. Why? If you think about it, the way our behavior works is, if you get a good result or reward, you do it again. And if you get punished or if you don't see a good result, you tend not to do it again. So we're all kind of wired to want results, to stay motivated or see progress. But with long-term goals like language learning or fitness, for example, it takes that time to see some results. So it's understandable why it's hard for learners to make language learning a habit. You can come up with a nice routine on paper, but if you can't physically stick with it, it's kind of useless. The trick is to keep going until it becomes a habit. So what should you do to create a habit? Well, there are a few tricks for that. First, set a specific time and location dedicated to learning language. That could be your house, a cafe, or on the train. The reason you should start with time and location is because many of our habits are ruled by time and location. If it's 8 p.m., we know it's dinner time. If it's midnight, it's time to brush your teeth. And if you're at the office, a location, it's time to work. And if you're at a gym, it's time to work out. So by doing this, you give yourself a plan to work from. If it's 8 p.m., you automatically know to learn language in the set place. The second tip is similar to the first. Create an environment that's good for language learning, where it's easy for you to learn. As mentioned earlier, location can set the theme of your behavior and habit. If you're in a library, you're more likely to read. If you're at the gym, you're more likely to work out. So you can turn a room or a corner of a room into a learning space where you can easily pop in and start learning without getting distracted by TV, your phone, or a pile of clothes on your couch. Again, your environment can make it easy to stick with habits or it can break your habits. For example, if you wanna work out, if you had a gym on the first floor of your building, it'd be much easier to go, right? But if it was five blocks away, then it's out of your immediate environment and not as easy to get to. Similarly, if you decide to learn a language on the couch and next to your TV, it won't work out as well because your environment isn't suited to learning. You'd want a place with no external distractions. The third thing you can do is piggybacking or habit stacking. In other words, combining a habit that you already have with a new one that you want to have. So take a look at your existing habits and routines throughout the day. For example, let's say you commute to work or school for 30 minutes. If you can multitask while doing this, then this is a great place to squeeze in language learning. If you eat lunch at 1 p.m., you can piggyback on top of this routine and listen to our audio lessons. And there's a good chance it will stick because you're piggybacking on top of an existing habit that you have no problem sticking with. The fourth tip is called the two minute rule. In other words, just learn a language for two minutes and then walk away. The whole point here is to master the habit of showing up and learning. Two minutes isn't enough to make progress, but for a beginner who doesn't have good habits to start with, this is more than enough. It's enough to build a habit. Remember, with habits, it's not about how many hours you put in right now, it's how many times you've done it, the frequency. So someone that did 100 two-minute lessons for two weeks will have a much stronger habit than someone that learned for one hour a day for two weeks and wore themselves out. The fifth tip is to track your habits, and it's something you can do with a calendar, where you cross the days on a calendar every time you learn your target language. Having that habit tracker does two things. First, it keeps the habit on top of your mind, and second, it gives you that reward or result. So if you're consistent, you have the visual proof right in front of you. If you're not, well, at least now you know your progress. Now, how long does it take to form a habit? Some say 21 days, and then there are studies that say two months on average. But remember, the most important part, again, is frequency. The current habits you have, you've done them hundreds and hundreds of times, which is what makes them automatic. So if anything, you'll want to aim for frequency instead of a specific number of days. Now, what about you? How can you apply these tips? Let's get into part two. Part two, recap on how to create your own habits. 
As you already know, our lives are governed by routines and habits. And a lot of the time, we're doing things out of habit without having to think or motivate ourselves. Now, imagine if you could do that for language learning, where you can easily slide in and start learning without needing to push yourself. That's where habits come in. Habits start with a cue, which is an outside signal. For example, it's 8 p.m. Or you smell some food at 8 p.m. Then a craving. If you eat dinner at 8 p.m., you'll start wanting to eat. Then the response, you eat. And then the reward, you feel satisfied. But building habits is tricky, especially when there's no instant reward. And there's no instant reward with language learning. We're wired more so for instant rewards. So what can you do? Here's a quick recap with examples for you to do. First, set a time and location. This one depends on you and how much free time you have. But keep it simple and don't aim high. For example, 8 p.m. to 8.10 p.m. at home, or 2 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. at the cafe every Saturday or Sunday. And the reason is that, again, time and location are powerful cues for our behavior. There's a certain time we sleep, eat, do work, and there are places where we work. And so if you want to build a habit, start here first. Second, create an environment that makes language learning easy. You can turn a room or a corner of a room into a learning space where you don't have any distractions in the way and where it's easy to start learning. And if your home isn't the best place, then try a cafe. The whole point is to make learning easier to jump into. Third, piggyback on your existing routines and habits. In other words, combine language learning with the routine that you already do, like commuting to work, doing chores, or taking a walk. That way, your brain automatically starts associating your commute time as language time, and you can easily do a lesson without having to push and motivate yourself. So map out your daily schedule from morning to night and make it detailed. 8 a.m. wake up, 8.30 a.m. breakfast, commute at 9 a.m., arrive at work at 9.30 a.m., lunch at 1 p.m., and so on. Then look where you can multitask and stick language learning in. Fourth, use the two-minute rule, meaning if you want to create a habit, do it only for two minutes and immediately walk away after. The whole point is to build the habit of showing up to language learning, and you don't need to put in hours there. It's all about how many times you've shown up, not the actual hours you've studied. And you can easily learn with our lessons or the word of the day emails. Fifth, track your habits and don't skip two days in a row. If you can track and measure something, that means you can also improve it. And the same applies to language learning. You can do this with a calendar, a productivity app, or a simple notebook. If you see that you were able to stick with learning for a week, you're more likely to keep at it without breaking the chain. Sixth, Surround yourself with other language learners or get a language teacher. Like the environment, people also have a big impact on your habits. So if you're a Premium Plus user, be sure to take advantage of the teachers available in our program. Or you can sign up for live classes. Our next semester opens up in September for Japanese, Korean, Spanish, French, Chinese, Italian, German, and English. Now that you know how to create habits, leave a comment and tell us which trick you want to apply. You don't have to use them all, but pick at least one. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about Tipping Points, the secret signposts of language progress and success. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. Want to speak more of your target language? Then you'll need to know more words and phrases. Except the problem is memorizing word lists is painful and boring. But the good news is you don't have to memorize for hours to boost your vocabulary and speak more. You can glance through our principal visual flashcards and easily master over 1,500 of the most common words. How to learn the 1,500 most common words with visual flashcards. And in this guide, you'll discover 1. 
how to get free access to visual flashcards, two, how to learn words easily without painful memorization, and three, why these flashcards help you acquire words faster than typical word lists or digital flashcards. But first, if you're not a member of our language learning system, which gives you free access to this special resource, then be sure to sign up for a free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account right now. First, what are visual flashcards? Visual flashcards are principal illustrated flashcards that teach you over 1,500 of the most common words across 60 topics. Just download the PDFs, print them out in two-sided format, cut out the flashcards and start learning. Now, how can you learn words fast with these flashcards? The best way to learn anything is not to cram or memorize for hours a day, but to go through and review the words for just a few minutes a day every day. That repetition is what locks the language into your memory, and eventually you'll get used to the words like it's your own native language. Also, all flashcards include an image for each word, so your brain can easily create a connection between the image and the word and help you remember it better, instead of just relying on text, as is the case with most digital flashcards and word lists. Third, here's how you learn with the visual flashcards. After printing and cutting them out, you can go through the cards and review them for just a few minutes a day. Also, be sure to read the words out loud for speaking practice. You can also test yourself by looking at the meaning and trying to recall the word in the target language. If you don't remember, just flip the card over to get the answer. You can also have a friend test you. And you can place the cards on the objects they represent around your home. So for the card for the window, you can tape that to the window, and you'll quickly memorize the word after seeing it a few times. So, if you want to speak more of your target language and add over 1,500 words to your vocabulary, Download our printable visual flashcards right now for free. Just click the link in the description to sign up for a free lifetime account and get free access. If you're a beginner language learner, you've probably already realized just how many words there are that you need to learn, and you already feel overwhelmed by that thought alone. How is it possible to learn thousands of words when you can't remember the few words you learned last week? Well, the good news is, if you're a beginner, you don't need to know thousands to start speaking the language. How to learn the 100 most common words on loop. In this guide, you'll discover, one, why 100 words is all you need as a beginner, and two, how to master these 100 words without painful memorization with our free study tools. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. First, why are 100 words all you need as a beginner? Because overwhelming yourself with 1,000 words is not a good way to learn. And because of something called the 80-20 rule, or the Pareto Principle. This states that 80% of your progress and results will come from just 20% of what you've done, meaning you'll get the best results from focusing on a few things instead of trying to do everything. In the case of language, learning the top 100 words helps you understand a lot of the language. So instead of overwhelming yourself by learning all the words, many of which you won't hear in daily conversations, you'll get much better results by focusing on the top 100 words, like you, this, that, today, Friday, and so on. And you can easily learn 100 words in a month if you learn around three to four words a day every day. In month two, you can learn 100 more and slowly build your way up. Second, how can you do this? You can learn the 100 most common words with our learning system. When you join, just look for the vocabulary menu and click on 100 most common words in the drop-down menu. This study tool is 100% free for all members. For each word, you get a picture, the audio pronunciation, and an example sentence. You can simply review this list for a few minutes a day. Write the words out in a notebook, or you can use our slideshow tool and master these words without painful memorization. Just click on View Slideshow and sit back and follow along.
The slideshow will play one word after the other, along with the audio pronunciation, the meaning, the image, and the example sentence. You can also set it to play the target language only, without the translations. And even better, if you set the slideshow to play on loop, you can keep the words playing nonstop until they're stuck in your brain. Just imagine, you could spend a few days listening to the words on loop, master them all without hard work, and speak a lot of your target language. So, if you want to master the 100 most common words with our free word list and slideshow tool, then sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. You want to learn and speak the language, and you know that you need to learn more words so you can speak more, except memorizing words is boring and painful work. But what if you could skip that hard work and quickly review words in minutes a day and actually remember them in the long run? Keep watching. How to learn words fast without forced memorization. In this guide, you'll discover one proven tactic for learning words, which is much easier than brute memorization, two, why you'll actually remember what you've learned, and three, how to pick up hundreds of new words every month with one tool that all serious language learners love. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. So, what's the best way to learn words if you want to avoid the hard work of memorization? It's called spaced repetition. Spaced repetition is where you see a word today, then you see it again tomorrow, then in a few days, and so on, so that your learning gets spaced out over time. Spaced repetition learning is backed by science and helps you actually remember words because first, you need repetition to learn anything. And second, you need to space out the learning over time because your brain remembers better every time you come back to review. And that's something that won't happen if you spend hours cramming today only, which is also why you forget everything after a test that you've crammed for. So, how can you take advantage of this learning method to learn more words? Well, there's a study tool that all serious language learners love. It's called Spaced Repetition Flashcards. And you can find our flashcards in the vocabulary drop-down menu on the site. Inside, you already have the 100 must-know words deck prepared for you, so you can jump in and start learning right away. You can also make flashcard decks from words and phrases presented in our lessons, the 2000 core word list, words saved in your work bank, and our free vocab list. Just click on Study and Start Session to start learning. Third, once you start, the flashcards track your progress and sort your cards for you. So the tough words that you struggle with, you'll see them more often in a study session. And the easy words that you get right, they'll start getting spaced out. You'll see them again in two days, then five days, then 13 days, and so on. At which point, these words will start going into your long-term memory, and you'll never forget them. Once you're done with the study session, that's it for the day. And all of this takes just a few minutes. Then your flashcards will remind you when to study again and start introducing new words while spacing out the ones you already know. And that way you can easily master hundreds of words a month just by quickly reviewing words for a few minutes a day without the hard work of memorization. So take advantage of our flashcards right now. But if you don't yet have access to our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the word bank, your personal vocabulary collection where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools. Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and eBooks for free. Just click the link in the description.